and welcome to the Design Power Pro Tips series, where Gates experts share details on how to create power transmission drives using Gates Design Power software. I am Greg Allers. I'm located in the field office in Minnesota. In the following video, I will show you how to calculate belt tension from a known two point drive system. The first step in creating your drive is to gather the necessary information about our existing drive. I put together some details of an example drive, a 5VX900, and there are two of those belts on this drive. The motor shiv is 5.5 inches, and the driven shiv is 9.0 inches. The horsepower is 20 horsepower, and the RPM is 1775, which I got right off the nameplate. With these five bits of information, now we go to our drive design software, Gates Design Power. Once the software has opened, you're going to see Design Flex and Design IQ in the list of application options. Design Flex Pro is set up for two point drives. So this is the application that we're going to be using today. Design IQ is an application for multiple pulleys, tensioners, and other types of drives, which we will use this application in a later Design Power Pro Tips video. But today we're looking at the Design Flex Pro. So we double click on this option and that will open up to our next screen. So once we get to the next screen, the very first thing we want to do is click on the clear belts tab. By clearing the previous selection of belts, we are able to select from the full list of Gates belts to design a brand new belt drive system. Next, navigate to the top of the screen and click the change belt icon. Then we need to determine whether our belt is a V-belt or synchronous belt. By clicking on the arrow next to the belt option, you can see a full list of belts by Gates trade name and select the one that you're looking for. If you don't know the name of the belt that you're looking for, click the little down arrows and more options will show up on the display list. Again, our example is a 5VX900. That's a Super HC belt, so we click here. The Design Power software will open up a little bit of information about the belt so you can read up on that selection. Once we decided this is the right belt, we go down to the bottom of the screen and click Apply Belt Choices. So now you can see our Super HC 5VX choice here. Let's click on the first unspecified option to input our length. We scroll down until we find the 5VX 900. Then on the next unspecified drop down option to input the width, there are two of these belts on the drive, so we will click on two. Now we enter our motor information. We had a 20 horsepower motor, so I will type 20 in the horsepower option. If you need it, there's a drop down tab where you can scroll through standard motor sizes as well. Next, we'll enter our motor RPMs at 1775. Then we go down to our driver pulley. That's going to be the pulley on the motor where we calculated 5.5 inches. So we can either use the drop down and click on it, or we can type it in. I use the drop down option on this one. Next, we go over to the driven pulley. And since I used the drop down option on the last one, I will type the 9.0 on this one. Once we enter the measurements of our belts, our two shivs, our horsepower and RPM, we can design the belt drive by clicking the button on the right hand side of the screen. The Design Flex Pro system will calculate the numbers for us and take us to the next screen where we can see all the information about our new drive. If you double click on SuperHC or the part number, it's going to open up the drive design report, which is where we will find the tensioning information. The drive design report is broken up into three sections. The input section, which is the horsepower, RPM, and pulley sizes we entered. The selected drive section, which displays all of our part numbers and the tension section, which is where we will find the tensioning information. Since this Design Power Pro Tips video is focused on getting tensioning information from the DesignFlex Pro software, this is the exact section we are looking for. So if we're looking for a force deflection measurement on a brand new belt, we're going to look in this column here. And we find the measurement of about a half of an inch. Further down, we see that it's going to take us about nine to nine and a half pounds of force to move that belt a half of an inch. If this was a used belt, we're going to use that same half inch measurement, but it's only going to take us about seven and a half to eight pounds of force to move that belt a half of an inch. 
If we were using a sonic tension meter to measure the belts, we'd want to read the measurement in hertz. For a new belt, we're looking between 36 and 38 hertz. And for a used belt, we're looking for 34 and 35 hertz. So it's that nice and simple. As long as we have our five bits of information that we plug into our design, we get these results pretty quick. Once the results are displayed on the screen, you can print them off using the print icon or save them as a PDF using the file icon at the top right of the screen. That way the drive report is always available on your computer. Thank you for watching this Design Power Pro Tips video. If you enjoyed this video, go to Gates YouTube channel for more Pro Tips content. And if you need more support, feel free to contact our Power Transmission product application team by sending us an email to ptpa support at gates.com or calling us at 303-744-5800. Thanks and have a good day.